Scent of Apples by Bienvenido Santos is a captivating short story that is part of a collection published in 1978 by University of Washington Press. It delves into the unique experience of a Filipino immigrant and his family in the United States. What makes this story particularly intriguing is that Santos himself is a character within its pages. Santos penned Scent of Apples during the rebirth of Freedom Era, a time of post-World War II activism and the restoration of independence to the Philippines. Understanding this historical context allows us to appreciate the nostalgia interwoven throughout the narrative and the challenges faced by Filipinos in maintaining a connection to their roots while embarking on a new life in a foreign land. The story unfolds from Santos's perspective as he delivers a lecture in Kalamazoo, Michigan, to a sizable audience predominantly composed of college-aged women. The focus of his talk revolves around the Philippines, and Santos speaks of his people and his country with deep affection. During the lecture, an interesting turn of events occurs when a man in the audience, also Filipino, speaks up. A farmer who has been living outside of Kalamazoo for over two decades, he seeks to delve deeper into the conversation by posing a question to Santos about the nature of Filipino women, past and present. The room falls silent as everyone eagerly awaits Santos's response. The weight of the question puts Santos in a dilemma. He is unsure of how to answer, as he does not have much experience with American women. He finds himself torn between wanting to provide an honest perspective and not wanting to shatter the man's idealized perception of his homeland. The gravity of the moment hangs in the air as Santos carefully contemplates his words, formulating a thoughtful strategy for his reply. He asks the man to delve deeper into his memories and describe how he remembers the women from their past, hoping to draw a proper comparison. Through the man's recollection, Santos gains insight into the qualities that were cherished in Filipino women of earlier times, naturalness, kindness, loyalty, and modesty. The man nostalgically reminisces about their attire and believes it is the men who have lost their faith and character over the years. Armed with this understanding, Santos is now equipped to provide a thoughtful response. Santos explains that while the external appearance of women may have changed, their fundamental temperament and unwavering religious faith remain intact. The man appears content with this explanation, and Santos finds solace in knowing that he has not disappointed anyone. To him, this response is not only sincere, but also genuine. Yet, the interruption has altered the dynamics of the lecture, and Santos knows he will reflect on it for quite some time. As Santos exits the lecture hall, he encounters the man, who introduces himself as Celestino Fabia, a laborer on a farm located 30 miles away. Fabia reveals that upon seeing Santos's name in the local newspaper, he recognized a fellow Filipino and traveled a great distance to hear him speak about the past. Inviting Santos to join him for dinner the following day, Fabia expresses his joy in introducing his family to someone who reminds him of the bygone days and the spirit of Filipino culture. Santos eagerly accepts Fabia's invitation and looks forward to the meeting. He understands the financial constraints of a farmer like Fabia and does not concern himself with the condition of the house. Santos recognizes that material possessions hold little importance and appreciates the opportunity to connect with Fabia's family. During their journey, Santos notices apple trees, triggering a wave of nostalgia and melancholy as memories of home flood his thoughts. At times, he struggles to find equilibrium between preserving his cherished memories and building a new life. Fabia, too, shares this sentiment and openly confides in Santos, who feels privileged to listen to his heartfelt musings. Together, they fondly reminisce about their youth, tinged with a tinge of sadness for the inevitable changes that have taken place over time. Santos feels a sense of discomfort when he meets Fabia's wife, Ruth. He becomes conscious of her physical appearance, noting her lack of attractiveness and rough hands. Despite his awareness that he should not focus on such superficial aspects, Santos hopes that his feelings do not betray him through his expression. He experiences a pang of guilt as he learns about the sacrifices Ruth has made for Fabia, working tirelessly for minimal pay to provide necessities like health care. Although Santos acknowledges the resemblance Ruth bears to Filipino women, he still struggles with his initial impressions. As their encounter draws to a close, Santos confides in Fabia about his plans to return home and expresses his desire to visit Fabia's hometown. However, Fabia hesitates, reluctant to grant permission. 
Perhaps he fears that Santos's visit will reveal how time and circumstances have changed the place, preferring to preserve the memories of the past rather than confront its present reality. In its essence, Scent of Apples serves as a poignant reminder of the challenges faced by Filipino immigrants as they grapple with leaving their homeland behind and endeavor to build new lives, fueled only by nostalgic recollections of how things used to be. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.